way this particular instrument works is you have uh, an x-ray beam and uh, it hits the surface of a particular material and the x-rays actually generate uh, electrons. Those electrons then get collected up in this particular detector here, which then can tell us about the surface chemistry of something that we're looking at. Um, the electron microscopes that we use work a little bit different. Instead of having an x-ray beam, we have electron beams. Uh, you guys, I guess, are teachers mostly? What, 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 are, you, what are you teaching? Hey, we have K <coughs> through uh, high school here, all subject areas. This is the aerospace workshop for teachers from the University of Tennessee. Okay. And so you're teaching with a lot of math, science, English, anybody? Yeah, that was one of the things that, that kind of amazed me when I first started working here is uh, how much I had to write. And uh, and I was really thankful for my English teachers really hammering on me to write well. Because <laughs> that was one of the first comments I got when I got here was, you don't write like an engineer. And uh, so that, that was a compliment. Um, well, anyway, the... Uh, uh, the electron microscopes work a little bit differently than this instrument. The, uh, the electron microscopes kind of work like a, like an optical microscope. Everybody's looking through little optical microscopes, looking at bugs or whatever, and magnify them with, with light coming through a lens to make things look bigger. With an electron microscope, you have uh, what's called an electron gun. It just shoots a, a single beam of electrons, a very fine beam of electrons. And then we use electromagnets to move that beam around. and uh, it kind of works like the old televisions where you have, uh, it's essentially the same thing, you have an electron beam and it rasters across the TV screen to give you an image. It just does it so fast that you don't see the lines. And the electron microscope works the same way, only the beam gets rastered in a smaller and smaller area. So with, with a standard optical microscope, we can magnify things anywhere from a few times to about 2,000 times with an optical microscope is about the limit of that. With an electron microscope, uh, generally you can go from a few times up to about half a million times. Uh, and so uh, at that magnification, things are very, very large, even though they're very, very small. Um, and we even have an electron microscope through that doorway there, which I don't know if we'll, we'll eventually we'll walk through that way, but that particular microscope can magnify things up to a million times. And uh, at, at that particular magnification, you can actually start to see the, the atomic uh, structure of, of materials. You actually see the crystallographic planes that, that make up uh, a lot of the, the metals that we 